Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Undertale. Uh, and we will start the game as soon as I can find it. Eh. Uh, that's Outlast, that's not Undertale. That one is Undertale, okay. <laughs> I didn't have it selected in Steam, so I had some issues. Oh, oops. Can't do that. Okay, um... Okay, so you you all can hear the game, correct? Uh, yeah, the game seems fine. F4. Enter to continue. Yada yada yada. Where are we? Uh, we are at the castle elevator, so let's get going, I guess. The elevator is in use. The elevator isn't working. Well, I don't believe that, but okay. This path is weird. I expected to get attacked along that path. But I wasn't attacked. My expectations were not fulfilled. How dare you not fulfill my expectations? What's the sign say? There's a sign above that door. <laughs> the way is blocked by two padlocks. There are notes attached. Howdy! I'm in, the, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. I don't see anyone in the garden. There's no one in the garden. In the kitchen. The. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. I like the music, but the stove top is very clean, so it must use fire magic instead. That's you took the key and put it on your phone's key, on your phone's keychain. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. Seems like a garden seems like gardening tools. This is suspicious. What's I feel like something's gonna go wrong here. Over time, as Azrael and the Azrael and the human become like siblings, the king and the queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. It's just a chair. It's Asgore's journal. All the current pages say it's a nice day today. The ink is still almost is still almost wet. It's a burrow. There are, there's a Santa Claus outfit inside. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button-up sh button shirts, and pink hand-knit sweaters that say, Mr. Dad Guy. It's a trophy. Number one, nose nozzle champs 98. It's 
a king size bed. Despite everything, it's still you. It's a golden flower. Let's check the rooms first. Room under renovation. So, isn't that the room I stayed in before? There's a heart shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Yeah. You got the heart shaped locket. There are worn out. There's a worn out dagger in the box. Mm -mm. Leave it. I don't need it. Dusty toys. I don't need the dagger. Not at all. There are a lot of striped shirts in here. It's a twin size bed. What a comfortable bed. If you lie down here, you might not ever get up. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. I'm really digging this music. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Golden flower. Is there anyone? No, still no one. You unlocked the chain. There's an old ca calendar from uh, the end of 2016. Uh, the date is circled on it. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Uh Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. I really like this music. Suddenly, suddenly screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human body. They thought that he had killed the, the child. The human, the humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But... Az Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human. <laughs> Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asga will let us go. Uh, oh, uh, I read it in a voice for the, um, the... The mold small. I didn't really think that they were all going to say it. 
You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Okay, yeah, now I recognize this. Ring, ring. There's no response. No, I wanted to call Toriel's phone. So I only have recent dials here. Nobody picked up. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Levels, Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt the more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggle or hardship you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Of course he's gone again. Now, funny enough, I know about uh, fighting Sans in uh, the genocide run. Like, how he's uh, absurdly powerful. But, I don't know anything other than that about a genocide run. Other than, like, everyone's dead. Throne room. What is this way? It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Soul. It's empty. I can't look at the other ones. That's not funny. I prefer my coffin to stay empty for as long as possible. Okay. Well, Asgore, is this really what you want to do? Dundee Dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. 
Here we are. Howdy, how can I? Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. Yeah, I'd love to play catch, Asgore. You know or what we must do? When you are ready, come into the next room. So, even he's kind enough to not try and do it right here. It's a throne. It's a pretty basic throne. There's a lot of saving. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. The end. Well... This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I don't know of anything other than making sure I have food. I see. Anything you want to do is important enough. Even something as small as reading a book or taking a walk. Please take your time. Because, yeah, we got to go buy some food. I thought about it and I was like, I'm in need of food. If we are going to fight him, even I am guaranteed not going to do my best to avoid killing him. But that may not be an option. My only option may be to kill him. Because I read somewhere that you couldn't do a true genocide, well, a true pacifist run without a neutral run already there. I don't know how true that is, and I don't know if I had... Uh, uh, misinterpreted what I was reading, but whatever it is, I want to do my best to not kill him. Yeah, I don't really like the music in here. The music in there is just annoying. See, we're just going to buy a bunch of junk food. Because it's cheap. The elevator is in use. So where does that elevator go? And why does this place take you, like, go to the core anyways? Sorry, my phone uh, went off and I thought it might be something important. I was wrong. I don't think I can be attacked along the way there, because even the fights that we had were just giving explanations.
So I did recognize this. There are so many save spots right here. It truthfully confuses me why there's... There's like one every three inches. Okay. Let's go. Oh, back so soon? How are you feeling? I'm ready. I see. This is it, then. <laughs> ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with, with determination. Human, if it was nice to meet you, goodbye. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His trans tremble for a moment. I need to turn this down on my headset. Okay. And I'm gonna reach over here to OBS and turn it down a little bit as well. Let's check his stats. Attack 80, defense something. I'm gonna die this time. You tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. He bre his breathing gets funny for a moment. Yeah, I am gonna die this time, but I uh, especially because I want to uh, see what the stats are on the locket. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped, Asgore's defense dropped. Seems talking won't do any more good. Yeah. I wanna see how, what the stats are on the heart locket before we do anything. Don't lose hope, so stay determined. Best friends forever. Now what are our stats? 15 armor and 7 attack. The attack doesn't matter. Ready? Yep, let's let's do this. He What I love about this uh, that scene is it's saying that the act uh, these act buttons are something that can actually be influenced. You tell Asgore that he's killed you once before. He nods sadly. You tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. Gets funny for a moment.
You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Won't do any more good. Same socket won't do any more good. Won't do any more good. Ouch. I basically, I just damaged myself. I'm gonna just keep trying to talk to him. Like, after this time, I'll look up and see if there's a method to spare him. Because, as far as I'm aware, there may not be. This, this fight may be guaranteed. All you can do is fight. And I... Fine. So yeah, I'm gonna look up and see if there is a way to do this without killing him, so I don't waste my time. Un... Undertale... As... Score. We'll do this just for the sake of it.
Okay, so yeah, I can't, uh, I cannot do this. Um. I can't, uh, the first run cannot be a true pacifist run, so I do have to fight Hasgore. I'm gonna keep the the snowman piece because I trolled him. Ready? Okay, so I'll tr see if I can talk to him three times without using. So yeah, on a genocide, uh, on that only happens on a neutral route, um, where eh, you haven't been killing anyone. Ouch. Wow, I was really bad that time. I did not expect to be that bad. It cannot end now. Soul, stay determined. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I forgot to save with that stuff in my inventory again. Do you really need to kill me for the seventh soul? Can't that I just assist you? you uh, that he's killed you three times, he nods sadly. Okay, oops, I meant to... Ouch. I hate that one. Okay, now all I can do is fight, right? And I didn't take the knife because I didn't want the knife. I don't... Yes, it, you could technically say that taking the knife and having a higher attack would be merciful. But... Ouch. We'll eat the junk food instead. Ouch, so that last one hit, uh, was blue. I can't tell that. There's no colorblind options for this game. Five. 
Very similar to Toriel's, like, as the wiki says. <laughs> you ate the butterscotch pie. The smell reminded Asgore of something. Asgore's attack down and defense down. Probably took more of those than I needed to. This is gonna kill me. This one will almost assuredly kill me. Oh, no, we have one health left. Okay, so I'm uh, if I eat the butterscotch pie and talk three times, uh, it, it's two downs, right? I'm gonna go get the knife. Damn you, game. I didn't want the knife. I don't even know if I can still get the knife. In all honesty. Like, I may not be able to still get the knife. I may be screwed when it comes to the knife. Knife might be gone. Who knows? <sighs> yeah, I think the knife is gone. I think I just flat out can't get the knife anymore. Oh no, I can get the knife. You're carrying too much. Yep, now our attack is... I, I love the the music in this house. It's new home. The music in in there is amazing, and I love it. But. Mm -hmm. Of course, the game has to make me, so, like, I don't want to do this, but the first run, you, like, it seems, apparently, with the first run, you do have to kill him. Like, there's no other choice. I guess that's what I get. Like, talking isn't doing anything past that point. So, <sighs> the end. <laughs> the 
the barrier is weird. Yeah, this is this is gonna be difficult on me because I, I Okay, so we'll do the three talks. And during the time we'll we will probably uh, get enough damage that we can take the butterscotch pie and it not be too much of an issue. Yeah. Butterscotch pie. Attack and... Is there a sound difference there? I think there's a sound difference for them. No, there's not. Okay. I'm wondering if it would have been better to stick with the, uh, what's the things? So that we had more hits. Like, uh, instead of using the dagger. No, I think we can survive one more. Yeah. Now we take a junk food. I hate that attack! You know, the funny thing is, this is my second time, total, actually using the attack feature. There have been very few fights where I've actually had to, like, had any reason to use it. One junk food. Damn. He attacks too fast. It, like, only one of them can do damage. Ah. Uh. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. 
In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hope returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take uh, this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Yes, human. I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like, like a family. You idiot. You haven't learned a thing in this world. It's kill or be killed. The game just closed. The game just closed. One day they disappear. Okay, so it's... Flowey... Lo... My world. Continue. File erased. Howdy. It's me, Flowey. Flowey the flower. I you owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Mmm, I can feel them wiggling. Aw, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more. Before I can become God. And then, with my new vampires, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry, your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. It, I'll save over your own death, so you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? 
You really are an idiot. Um... Um... I don't get it. This is all just a bad dream. And you're never waking up. <laughs> That's gonna be annoying. Hehehe. <laughs> Did you really think I was going to be satisfied killing you only one time? Hmm. There's got to be something to this fight. Right? Everything's had something to it. Like with uh, Undyne, I had to run in order to spare her. Hmm. Wow, I died quickly. Oh, so this is all just a bad dream and you're never waking up <laughs> yep I'd say the most inconvenient part about this is that I have to launch the game every time pathetic now you're really gonna die I wonder if there was someone out there when the game first came out where they where that happened and they just stopped. Hmm. Makes me curious. Warning. You called for help. Warning. Mm. 
You called for help. Oh, dang it. I, I didn't get enough. File 2 loaded. So he's saving and uh, loading actively. I can't see. I'm gonna die. Yep. Wonder what point this is gonna start me at because it was saying like file two saves and so on. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever realize what will happen if you defeat me? Do you even realize what will happen? Warning. Okay, so... That doesn't work. You called for help. I don't know where my heart is, it's right there. I'm not doing anything, it's closing instantly like that on its own. Don't you get it? There's no such thing as happy endings. Y'all can't see that, can you? This is all that's left. Warning. Okay, so what's this next one? Hatred, ruin, hatred, hatred, cruelty, doom, death. You called for help. I didn't get enough. Warning, warning. He was, he saved a lot during that in instance. This one makes a lot more sense to me. I want butterscotch pie now. You called for help. See, I got plenty of that time. Warning. 
warning. You called for help. Thank you. Flowey's defense dropped to zero. I don't know how much health he has left. I can't I haven't been able to look up there the entire time. Only reason I'm able to survive this is because there keeps being healing things showing up. But I need to make sure to get them. No! This can't be happening! You! You! File 3 loaded. You idiot. File 3 loaded. File 3 loaded. <laughs> Did you really think? You could defeat me. I am the god of this world. And you, you're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help, I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, daddy, somebody help. So what good is it? D does it do you? You called for help. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get in to see you die. What? How do you... Well, I'll just... Load failed. What? Where are my powers? The souls! What are they doing? No! No! You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! Stop! What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. 
sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. Undertale by Toby Fox Tammy Chang Kenju That was amazing I I loved it I absolutely loved this. Hey. Hey. Uh, is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. So, it's been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey! If we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take, but we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Hey, human! How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Well, besides one thing, the queen disbanded the royal guard. Since we don't have to fight humans anymore, wow. I have no idea what to do with my life, but that's okay, because I'm still working hard, even if it's on, even if it's on nothing at all, so don't feel bad. Papyrus is fine. Undyne is the one that's got it bad. She lost her job, and then she lost her house. It was sad, but we're taking care of her. She lives on our couch now. It's like a sleepover every night. A sleepover there's no escape from. Oh, we gave her a job too. Sans hired her, uh, at his illegal hot dog stand. She hates working there, but she makes a mean hot dog. Oh yeah, she still blames you for the disappearance of Asgore. She talks to me a lot about getting revenge on you. She has a ludicrous plan to cross the barrier and beat you up. To be honest, I think it's impossible, but I'd like to believe that it's not, because I want her to. Go, I want to go with her. Then I'd get to see you again, even if I'd have to fight you. Well, keep your fingers crossed. And keep in touch. It'll make our plans easier. Bye. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts. Doesn't. If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did this st thing still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew 
some way to get you a better ending. You have to load your save file and, well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Hyundai? Seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness. See you soon. Long ago. That is going to be it, guys. Um, I might play this again on my own time to get a different ending. Or if someone puts down in the comments... Let me switch over to the big face cam. If someone puts down in the comments that you want to see me play this a different way, play it the same way and in more detail, let me know. I loved this. That, that ending did hurt, though. In multiple ways. I understand, like, I didn't pay for this game. I won it in a contest. But Undertale, since I'd heard about it, how I don't know if I was going to pay for it. I don't know if I was going to ever purchase it and play it for stream, for YouTube, or anything. I can say, though, that having played it, I now understand why the people who have played it are so dedicated to it. Are, it's got such a dedicated fan base, and understand why. If you enjoyed this video, and you're watching after the fact on YouTube, please leave a like down below, as well as a comment saying what you think. If you're watching right now on Twitch, it doesn't seem like there's anyone in chat over there. Thank you all for watching, but if you haven't already, make sure to follow. And I hope to see you all next time. Goodbye, guys. Oh, nice to see you. <laughs> I see. Uh, I'm going to hit the button. I see you there. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Man, right there, uh, I, I didn't realize how bad I had, uh, chat s uh, set up for the big, uh, the big face cam scene. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. This wasn't really the longest stream, but... I do hope you enjoyed. See you next time.